city, we discovered that several of our family members were allergic to milk. Not wanting to use a milk substitute, we decided on goat's milk. Buying it from the store was costly, and finding it from a farmer was... Nearly prohibitive with the milk regulations. Wanting to milk our own goats was a motivational factor in moving to the country. The first thing we needed was a stanchion. We made our first one off of a design in a farm magazine. Works great and we continue to use it today. Garen made one out of pallets for a neighbor. If you'd like to see it, you can click on the link in the description below. Here's our milking process. Actually, this is a lot uh, lighter than that other one. We prepared to milk by separating the kids from their mamas the night before. All we use for our filter system is just a filter that we got at the feed store and a little rim off of a quart jar. And we just push it right in, fold it over, and just lock it in place. And that's what we use for our filter system. The goats quickly learn that food awaits them beyond those pearly stanchion gates. And the head is securely secured. Oh, and by the way, everything is sanitized. I mean, we're talking bucket, hands, utter face. No, scratch the last one. Goats are varied as to how well you can milk them. They generally prefer that you get it done quickly, though. You can either milk from the side or the back. I would prefer the back, but that's just me. One of the methods that we use for jumpy goats is holding one leg up. After a while, though, they learn that milking isn't such a bad thing. This is homemade fennel lotion. Fennel cream helps the goat let down her milk. Oh, and it's pretty good for my hands, too. If you'd like to know how to make this lotion, there's a link in the description below. After we've applied the lotion, it's time to start milking. Start your milking engines. We actually don't use an engine. This is an awkward moment. That awkward moment when Bree has to say, the teats fill with milk. Pinch the top. Roll your fingers down. Pinch. And you can do this really super fast. And you take it up at the top and you roll your fingers. Squirt it out. Is the secret to good goat's milk. And this is the main point. We got pay attention! Attention all Kmart shoppers. Spill on aisle three, ladies and gentlemen. Cool the milk as fast as you can. I repeat, cool the milk as fast as you can. Filter it and put it in the freezer for 45 minutes. Or put it in a cooler full of ice if you have other things to do before you can get to the milk. The milk should taste wonderful. It will taste different because of the fresh, creamy taste, but it should not have any goaty flavor. When the goats are allowed to go out on the land and just eat and forage, sometimes they pick up a kind of a funny tasting weed and it will start to come out in the milk and flavor it. So what we do to make sure that that doesn't happen is we buy these loose minerals. You buy them at the feed store and they're for milking goats and they're just loose like this and we just freely give them to our goats and the milk again will sweeten right up. So the key is to having great milk, cool it fast and feed the goats minerals. This is raw milk. If you'd like to pasteurize it, heat it up to 145 degrees for 30 minutes. Got good milking on the brain. Awkward, the awkward moment when Brie has to say, the teats fill with milk! <laughs> can, we, can we say that?